ladies, good morning, happy vlog, happy Friday. It's about nine o'clock. We are rushing out the door. Wow, I forgot how bald I look over here, you know? Like, let me just, let me. Despistar al enemigo. Have you heard that saying in Spanish? Despistar al enemigo is like, let me throw off the enemy. Hold on, let me, there we go. Just, I just won't walk. I won't walk and film. Heading out the door. It is nine o'clock. It's a Friday. I have a 9.30 appointment with my friend Alina. I told you guys she has, it's called Sarabi Aesthetics. She has a spa where she does the most amazing facials, treatments, lash lifts. Okay, so I was on Instagram. Do you guys remember last weekend I told you that I've succumbed to a lot of Instagram artificial intelligence ads? So I clicked on one that kept popping up and I thought it was fascinating, where it's like a DIY, not DIY, do at home, do yourself, buy a kit and do it yourself at home, lash perm. So if you guys are unfamiliar, a lash lift is basically a perm for your eyelashes. And it's this brand that sells these kits where you could do it at home by yourself. You do a little lash perm and lash tint. And it's supposed to be a healthy alternative, like it has healthier ingredients, foolproof, whatever. So anyway, I was thinking about Alina. I'm like, I'm gonna text her before I buy this kit and say, hey, do you think this is a good idea? Do you think it's safe? And do you think I can do it myself without messing it up? And she's like, you do know I do that here at my business, right? And I was like, oh, yeah. I didn't know. So she was super sweet. She's like, come on over, let me do it for you. Let me show you how it's done. You guys know that I have been using eyelash serum for a couple of years now, and my eyelashes are super long, but you can't tell unless I put on mascara. So I put on mascara and my lashes are like in your face attacking you. And supposedly eyelash hair is super thin, so it could be longer than it actually looks, because it's so thin at the ends that you can't see the tone. So with the lash lift and tint, apparently it makes them look, well, it makes them look as long as they actually are, but not so invisible. Okay, anyway, the reason that I'm standing in front of the door and not walking anymore, besides the fact that I look bald, is because I told you last week that my son Daniel went over to the freezer to check because he wanted more sour bread. So with wild grain, the sourdough loaf and the demi baguettes, the demi baguettes are the ones that are like the short baguettes in, in a bag, of two come in a bag. And so he goes to the freezer, he's like, I want more bread. And I'm like, oh, there's no more, I'll order some. So he leaves, he goes to school, he comes home from school, checks the freezer, and I'm like, bro, what are you? <laughs> you do realize it takes some time. So I actually ordered them Tuesday, and today's Friday, and we just got our box. Not sponsored, by the way. I told you guys in that previous Wild Grain, like, we've talked about Wild Grain for three or four vlogs now, one of those vlogs was sponsored. This one is not. This is me telling you as a mom, do you ever place like emergency orders or do emergency purchases for things that your kids love because it's important? And I'm not talking about like, I don't know, a surprise mystery bag for a, some mystery toy they saw on YouTube. No, I mean like, oh no, we ran out of the specific yogurt pouch that is only available at the specific Market Street on that street with this cross street so you like rush and you make the special order because it's how they'll eat yeah okay anyway let me let me grab my box oh where's my box there's my box okay all right here we go we got the box promise me that on my walk to the kitchen you're not gonna look at my bald spots See, look at that. My hair looks so nice and voluminous, but also bald. You know, you can't have it, you can't have it every, you can't have everything in this world. What do they say? God does not give by the handful. Well, he, I got a couple pinches of things, okay? Just a couple pinches. All right, let's open this guy. Let's get our goodies out because even though it's like super cold outside, I don't wanna leave them out there if I can put it away. And also, if I can have some bread done by the time my baby comes home. For the record, I love how much Daniel loves bread. All right, you guys. So, like the other box, look at this. 
dry ice. I feel like saving this, like putting it in a container and saving it, putting it in the freezer because it's so fun, but also will burn you. So be very careful. And then look at that. All the bread I ordered. One. Two. Oh, crap. There it is. These are the demi baguettes I was telling you. These are so good. You guys, if you have any extra, which you probably won't, but it starts to get stale, slice it, put a thick layer of butter and a thick layer of white sugar. Yeah, like the bad sugar, the bleach sugar, and then stick it in the oven at 400 degrees. It will change your life. It is dessert, but it feels sinful. Here. You guys didn't believe me, did you? This is all I got was... A whole crap ton of sourdough bread. <laughs> we got three loaves of the sourdough. This is the one that I showed you in the other vlog where I slice it and have it sitting on the counter as sliced bread. And then these sourdough baguettes, which are just delicious to munch on, but they are also very good complimentary breads for dinner time during the week. So like you make pasta or soup or whatever, these are really good to play along with them. But I'm sure... You guys just want to see where I put it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hold, please. You know, this whole one-handed business is really hard. Put them in here. This outdoor freezer that I got has completely changed my life. I can't live without it anymore. Let's go get the other, the other bread. I don't know what we're doing this weekend, you guys, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Oh, I love you. Oh, I can't believe I just dropped bread. That's like, that's criminal sin. Did we just make up an expression? Criminal sin. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm usually not this clumsy. Yes, I am, but I'm trying to do everything with one hand and it's not very, it's not very easy. So, okay. I'll organize that later, but we're kind of in a, oh, who is creeping and sneaking, creeping and sneaking. You are creeping and creeping and sneaking. Where is my little girl? There is my little girl. Where is my baby girl? There is, there is my baby girl. Good morning, my love nugget. You want to say hi to your friends? She's like, no, I want to go with you. We have been taking her with us everywhere we go. As long as we know that dogs are allowed or we can bring them, she has been coming everywhere with me. I even have a little basket in the back of the car with a blanket, like in the middle seat. But she, I mean, every time she hears the door now, she's she's ready to go, which I feel terrible because right now I can't take her. I'm sorry, my baby. All right, so here is a brief update. There is no brief update. It's Friday, it's about 9.15. My appointment's at 9.30. I have plenty of time to get there. I was supposed to do a drive up pickup before I got to Alina's salon, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to do that. It is Friday. We don't have any plans this weekend. I don't think we do. Last weekend was so busy with Mateo's birthday and with um, the freeze that this weekend I'm like, oh, sh we probably have a bunch of stuff to do. I don't, I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. I wanna be in like a good mental state when I get my lash lift. I might also get a facial on my back. I know that doesn't make sense because a facial means face, facial, but for your, but it's a facial on my back. I might, I haven't decided yet, I'm a little embarrassed. I don't wanna to have to pay for Alina's therapy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know what we're doing this weekend. I know that there's something I want to do, but I don't wanna get your guys' hopes up. I wanna to go to Build-A-Bear, I said it. I do, I wanna to go to Build-A-Bear because last weekend that I found out that my stepdaughter Randers loves Karomi and I love Pachaco and her birthday's coming up, I was like, actually, that might be really cool, that might be a really cool thing we can get for her now before it sells out and save it for next month for her birthday. She doesn't watch my vlog, so you're fine. And then save it and give it to her. Oh! That is the first time she barks since Mern passed away. Are you barking? Why are you so tough? Are you so 
brave? Are you being brave? Who are you barking at? Is it that sound you're hearing? I don't know if you guys can hear that sound. Hopefully you cannot, but uh, we have a broken water softener and a broken and broken pool pump, a broken pool pump. Those jobs are uh, jobs of my loving spouse. And uh, if proper maintenance had been done or proper care during the freeze had been done, those problems wouldn't have happened. So that's kind of what we want to talk about later. But I want to keep I want to keep it light and airy right now. So anyway, I thought going to Build a Bear and getting a Karomi and a Pachaco for myself before they sell out, and then we can just save the Karomi for February when Render's birthday is coming. But that's the plan. And this is let me show you guys an example of why a broken water softener is really causing a very big stress in my life. This is an example of how hard our water is, and. It's kind of one of those things where it's not manageable. Like it's so hard, it's not manageable. It breaks your coffee maker, it breaks your sink, it breaks your faucet, it like damages everything because of how hard our water is. Not to mention, it's bad for my hair. Anyway, that's, that's it. I really hope I'm not late. Now I have 10 minutes to get there, but I think I can swing it. I really do. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys a couple pictures, video, whatever. Whatever I'm capable of doing while I'm there, I'll share it with you guys. But before, let me see if you can get a, I'm so sorry for doing this to you. That is a before, and that's also my cornea, and maybe a potential sty, just kidding. <laughs> that's my before. <laughs> I just got home, got a lot of laundry to put away, but I wanted to show you the after. Wait, hold on, there we go. Can you tell? Wow, that's incredible. I'm gonna insert some footage, kind of, of how the whole thing happens. It's not bad, it's such a fast process, but look at, it almost looks like I have really natural lash extensions, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna leave Alina's salon information in the description box of this video. So if you guys are in like North Dallas, Frisco, Little Elm, the Colony, Plano area, holy mother. She does facials and brow stuff and back facials. And Look at that, that's incredible. Could you imagine? One of the reasons that I microbladed my brows was because when I didn't have makeup on, I didn't have much brow. And so it really shaped my face having it. It allowed me the confidence to go out a lot more often without any makeup on. And this is kind of one of those things where it helps in that process. So curled dark lashes just somehow automatically make you look more put together. Not to mention, she is a great, beautiful, amazing, incredible human. And just going there is like going to therapy. So anyway, I'll leave her information down below. The other exciting thing is, this was in the mailbox when I arrived. Okay, you guys know I'm a fan of the vacation perfume. Actually, let me show you. Hold please. So the, where is it? Here. This perfume, if you wanna smell like summer, sunscreen, Hawaiian tropic, this is for those of you that like the cheese. You know what I mean? Like you like cheesy, corny, I wanna smell like stereotypical summer, vacation, or this is another good one. Beach by Bobbi Brown are very good. I smell like summer, I smell like sunscreen fragrances. So this is a fragrance that I discovered hmm, maybe two summers ago. 
Love it. This is like my fourth bottle. And the brand, their branding is so cute. You guys have to go check it out and snoop. They just launched a lip oil. <laughs> you know, there's not a lip oil that I do not want to try in this world. So we're going to try it together. Let's get some good lighting. So that's the packaging. It's been sold out and restocked a thousand times already. So it has sunscreen, I believe. I want to say it has sunscreen. Yeah, so it's like a lip oil with sunscreen. I've never tried a lip oil with sunscreen. Have I tried every lip oil on the planet? Yeah, probably. And I'm currently waiting for the Essence lip oils to get restocked from at Ulta from Essence. So the Essence lip oils restocked at Ulta. They launched first in Europe. And the minute they launched at Ulta, they sold out. So I want to try those as well. But this has sunscreen and everyone says that the scent is life changing. So the packaging, it's like a frosted bottle and it's tinted. So it has like a yellow tint to it. But the lip oil itself, I don't believe is tinted. You can see it's clear. It smells not what I was expecting it would smell like. It feels just like oil. So there are certain types of oils. There are some that feel like a gloss, so they're stickier. There are others that feel like a gel, almost like a gel serum hybrid. This one feels like an oil. See, there's no stick to it. 100% oil. It reminds me a lot of the texture of those lip oils when we were little. Do you remember that had like the roller ball and you just roll it on your lips and then the oil would like spread all over your face, but you felt super fly because you got cherry or grape or watermelon. I think strawberry was the one, like the one where it's at, that everyone wanted strawberry. It feels just like those. And it tastes sweet. It actually has a flavor. I got it in my mouth. And it smells like butter popcorn. I said it. I said what I said. I really thought it was going to smell a little more sunscreeny or, I don't know, more like their products. But it's like sweet butter. That's what it looks like. And those are my lashes in case you want to see them again. Mm hmm I can't get my face wet for 24 hours or my lashes. I can't get my lashes wet. I was like, Alina, do you know how hard it is for me not to cry every day? Just kidding. I don't cry every day. I'm going to go have lunch with myself and just, I mean, not go have lunch, but just eat lunch over there in the, in the kitchen. And I also want to show you this. Hold on. Hold please. I was telling Parker how frustrated I was that with Apple watches, it only allows you to have one folder of photos. So like if you want to do your watch face with photos, like actual pictures of your family or dogs or whatever, you can only have one folder. I just didn't know how to use my Apple Watch. Apparently, you go as if you were adding a new watch face. Go as if you were adding a new watch face. And you could do it as many times as you want and then have different pictures in each one. So Apple Watches are limited to, I think, 24 pictures in the cycle. So I was having to like remove pictures that I love to add new pictures, but I didn't realize that you can actually have separate watch faces. So if you go pretend you're going to go add a new watch face of photos and then add your pictures. And then if you want to have one with just your dogs, go and add a new watch face, go back to photos, add those photos. So what did I do? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to show you my watch face. I hope I can show you because this is kind of a weird angle. Okay. Hopefully you can see. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. That's my favorite. Look at my booty, look at my booty. Uh-uh-uh, look at my booty. You better believe I added as many pictures as it allowed me to of Pachaco. So if you guys were wanting to do a photo wallpaper on your Apple Watch, don't limit it to just like your kids or your husband or the pictures of your wedding or your dogs. Like you could just pick your hobbies, stuff you like, or like your celebrity crush or whatever, and make different watch faces with stuff that makes you happy. So stuff that makes me happy is Pachaco. Mm -hmm. But you guys, my day's gone. Like it's 1.30 and my day's gone. This is literally what happens every single day of my life. It's 1.30, my day's gone. I'm going to have lunch. Before you know it, it's going to be 2. And then once it's 2 o'clock, it's basically 3 o'clock, which means I got to go run and get grab my little man. The good thing is that I'm planning some fresh bread to be baked by me at uh, the same time I pick him up from school. So that when he gets home from school, he's going to be like, bread, yes. And I'm going to try my best. 
to vlog it so you guys could see his face when he gets sour bread. <laughs> you guys, it is almost three o'clock. I have to head out the door to pick up Little Man, but I wanted to show you two things. The first one is, look at this. Okay, I can't stop. I really can't help myself. Can't stop, won't stop. Do you guys remember I told you I DIY'd the other pop socket, the one that said uh, fragile like a bomb, not like a flower? I just did this one now. In my healing era, it has Rosie the Riveter, and then I did some little clay slices, like my Sagittarius and some strawberry flowers, a little pig. I put glitter all over it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, look at that. DIY pop socket. I was like, I should sell them. I should make them and sell them. I buy the original pop sockets off the pop socket website. So like if you already have a pop socket base on your phone, like it's compatible because they also have like knockoff sort of dupe pop sockets, but they stick to your phone. So they're not magnetic and they don't have the same compatible base as all pop sockets do. So I just get the clear ones. Like the first one that I DIY'd rather, the first one that I DIY'd was an ugly one that I didn't like. And so I covered it with a sticker and then coated it. This one is just, I'm like, right, my, <laughs> this one is just an original one. Cute as that. I'm totally in love with it. I'm also in love with little miss. Look at her in her cute little harness, ready to go get her brother. I also flipped you guys around. We're gonna put some of this in the oven for little man, but it's so easy. You preheat the oven, look at the instructions. Preheat the oven, open your package with one hand, which is really hard. There we go. And then when you open the oven, all you do is first of all, uh, clean it. Just kidding. You just pull out the rack and the bread goes directly on the rack. And then you set a timer and that's it. And then it tastes like you did it just now yourself without the mess. Well, actually like you did it successfully because y'all know how I feel about baking. Do you guys remember, uh, well, it was like two days ago because today's Friday and I ended last week's vlog two days ago. And I told you that I baked a cake for Mateo, like a box cake. I really think, like I really think in his heart, he wanted to love it, but he was like not super enthusiastic. He's the kind of person that will say, you'll say, hey buddy, does this dress look good on me? And he's like, I don't know. Do you want it to look good on you? Cause that's what I want to say. I want to say what you want to hear. <laughs> So I was like, did you love your cake? He's like, uh-huh, that's okay. I know my strengths. You know, that's one of those things. You guys, know what you're good at. Be self-aware. Don't be your own bully and don't bully yourself up. Like, oh, I'm, I'm so dumb. I don't know how to bake, I'm the worst. But like, know your strengths and like be your best cheerleader. I'm like, okay, I tried and I made him happy. But from now on, I know, I know better. You know, like, look at this. See, I'm getting better at this. This might be something that I can, I don't know, spend more time doing. Do you want another close up? Look at that. Yeah. How cute is that? Right? Don't you love it? Don't look at my face. Just look at Rosie the Riveter. Mm hmm. Cool, right? Anyway, I got to go get little man. I got to walk Sophia. I take her with me. Now that it's just her, I'm telling you guys, she gets so much extra attention, which is great. She's thriving. And. She loves going to pick him up. That little walk to the school, she's like, there's these two big dogs that we have to pass. If you were to look up mutt in the dictionary, like literally mutt, oh, what is happening? If you were to look up mutt in the dictionary, like what you would imagine a mutt looks like, these dogs look like mutts, like adorable Oliver's Company mutts. They look like mutts. We have to pass them every time we go pick up Daniel. And Sophia is like, those dogs were a little bit bigger than Ernie, than Mern. And Sophia's like, I will cut you. I will kill you. And I'm like, dude, this is why we had so much drama in the house. Because you are 11 pounds, but you think you're 300 pounds of muscle and weapons. But it's just so nice to take her, to include her, and to give her all this extra attention. And she is just, thriving. We have about 10 minutes before I need to go. I told you I had to drive up pickup and it was at Target because what's been happening is the boys leave to dad's on Thursdays. 
So when they leave here, they leave in clothes, right, on a Thursday. And then when they come back, they come in clothes. But what's happening is we're getting super lopsided on laundry because I do laundry twice a week. Their dad does laundry maybe twice a month. So they ran out of sweatshirts. So they've been having to layer every like two weeks. They've been having to layer clothes that isn't winter clothes. And I'm like, that's not cool. Like they should never, ever feel that their needs aren't met. So I did a drive up pickup at Target for extra sweatshirts. And look at this. <gasps> I know, right? How pretty is that? We got the blue and the green. We got orange, but it's like a waffle knit. And here's the thing is before they were at the same school, so I couldn't buy them the same thing twice in two sizes. Now that they're at different schools, it doesn't matter. Look at this one. Pretty, right? And then one more. So I got two of each for each of their sizes and then this color. And I love these because they almost look like a thermal, but they're actually a sweatshirt. And they have a, like the, at the bottom, like it kind of tapers in because I don't know if you guys have smaller kids. Like my kids are tall, but they're skinny. So if pants don't have the elastic or the adjustable waist, or if shirts don't kind of taper at the bottom, like it's really hard to get their size right because they got long arms and long legs, but they're super skinny. Oh shoot, I just washed them. Do you guys still wash your kids' clothes? Like, do you guys do that? Do you wash their clothes when you buy it? I got into the habit of doing it when they were infants because they say, right, like, oh, their skin is so sensitive from being in your tummy the whole time that you have to wash their clothes. I just got into the habit of doing it. And so now, I mean, 12 and almost nine, I still wash their clothes when it's new. Is that, am I being a helicopter parent? Am I being overprotective? Like, is it not necessary? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not necessary, but I still do that. I'm propping you guys up because you're my friends and I want you to keep me company while I fold their sweatshirts so that they're ready to go. Actually, I could show you better this way. I could probably fit into their sweatshirts. <laughs> it's Friday and it's three o'clock and Parker's usually home around 4.30. Well, I mean, with his job, and if you guys have a spouse in law enforcement, you know that there's not really a schedule, but he tries to make it home by 4.30, which is nice. And since he leaves so early, he gets a couple hours in in the morning. He doesn't get traffic, so that's super nice. But we actually haven't checked in with each other today. He just texted me earlier today and said, hey, show me your lashes. He was wigging out thinking that I was gonna have like lamb chop lashes. You know what I'm saying? Because I follow a couple of accounts on Instagram that I love, like their fashion stuff, but their eyelashes are very personal taste. <laughs> they're very personal taste and they're not my style. And I guess for him, anytime I say I'm doing anything involving my lashes, he thinks I'm gonna be full blown lamb chop mode, which I'm like, no dude, come on, don't you know me? Do you know me or do you know me? We don't do that. I do have an update for you guys on the lip oil though, and I wanted to update you guys here as well because we just talked about the lip oil. Okay, I'm a fan of lip oils, and it's very hard for me to find a lip oil, to use a lip oil that I like, to use a lip oil that I dislike. So almost the saying of I've never met a lip oil that I don't like. Okay, in this situation, the lip oil from NYX, I didn't like. And I didn't like it because it's a lip gloss. So I felt misled. I don't like when something is called this, but it's actually that. So it's not bad, it's just not a lip oil, it's a lip gloss. That's the only reason I don't like that one. This one, it's not luxury priced, but it's not drugstore priced. And it's just not, it's super oily, where it like slides out of your mouth. It tastes sweet, but after the sweetness wears off, I think that's why they put flavor in it because the flavor you get is like a chemical taste. I still have it in the back of my mouth. And that chemical taste only comes from one thing and that's sunscreen. So I would say you guys do not get the vacation lip oil. It's not good. It doesn't taste good. It's, I hate to use such a strong word, but I thought it was, it's pretty terrible. And once it came off, I don't know if you guys can see my lips, you see how dry they are? They were not that dry. 
And they weren't, and I know this because I've been monitoring my lips because I'm trying a product from La Roche-Posay, which is amazing. And now I'm back to square one with dry lips because of that oil. And I wonder if it was the chemicals in the sunscreen that dried out my lips or if it was a, just a drying lip oil, like is it the chemicals, maybe the fragrance? I don't know, but it completely dried out my lips and now I feel like I'm having to start all over with like my, do you wanna see something satisfying? Da, 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 da. Tell me you've worked in retail without telling me you've worked in retail. <laughs> My favorite thing to do when I worked at Designer Studio, if you guys are in South San Diego, I'm talking like San Isidro, they have outlets, an outlet center called Las Americas. And there was or is, I don't know, it's probably still there, a designer studio it's called Designer Studio. It's a store that sells only luxury brands like Armani jeans and whatever. I'm pretty sure they get the stuff like overstock from like Neiman's or Saks or something. But I used to be one of the sales girls there and I had to do the jeans. So they had a wall of jeans and I had to make sure that they were like perfectly lined up. So it's, it's paid off. Does anyone else have an alarm on, on their phone to pick up their kids? No? Does that make me a terrible parent or a really good parent? Because I could forget. Anyway, I wanted to show you that in case that made you feel really good or really warm inside. I'm gonna go get my kid and hopefully he's gonna freak out when I open the oven. I have a surprise for you. What? Come here. Go that way. Open. Oh. Open up. Look inside. <laughs> ah! <laughs> close it, close it, close it. Don't let out the heat. Like five more minutes. Yeah. You gonna eat it right now? All of it or just one? All. All? <laughs> hey you guys, happy Saturday. It's about five o'clock checking in a little late here. So this morning, well rather, I got up super early. I think it was like two or 3 a.m. with a horrible headache, took my medicine, went back to bed. And this morning when I woke up, my medicine usually works, but it makes me feel a little funk afterwards, little funky trunks. And so uh, I had a slow start to the morning. And as soon as I like showered, got ready, I was like, okay, let's get started with our day. Parker gets called into work. So he went to work and I decided to go to our local HEB because there's only one dog treat to my, wow, my dark circles look really dark today. I mean, now you'll believe me that I got bad sleep. <laughs> our local HEB has the only dog treat that our diva Sophia Renata is willing to eat, but they're not always in stock. So when I tried to get some last week, they didn't have any. I went in today, took everything they had off the shelf. <laughs> and anytime Parker gets called out, he's gone for at least three or four hours. So I was on the hunt for the new Essence lip oils. Do you guys remember I mentioned that yesterday? And it said that my local Ulta had them in stock. All the local Ultas around me had them in stock is what the website says, but apparently that's not true. So all three associates from all three Ulta's that I went to said the same thing. It doesn't matter if it says that they have it in stock, that's not true. <laughs> I was like, then why do you guys allow for check in store availability if it's not true? I thought it was weird that it said they had them available, but that I couldn't do a drive up pickup. So I guess lesson learned. If it doesn't allow for drive up pickup, but it says it's available, it's not true. <laughs> so while I was there, I accidentally bought some things and I thought that this would be the best or the coolest segment or chapter to this vlog. We could do like a mini Ulta haul of things I did not need. Tried a couple things already, love them. A couple things I thought we could just talk about together and see what we think. So I told you guys yesterday that my stepdaughter loves Karomi from Sanrio. And while I was on my Ulta adventure, I found little two little Karomi things. We got a little lip balm and then an overnight mask. How cute is that? So she's definitely gonna love that, but the rest fits in this little bag. I can't remember the last time I went to an Ulta or Sephora and they gave me a little bag, but Maybe it's just a lot of little things, you don't know. The truth of the matter is, I never found the Essence lip gloss or lip oil. 
not gloss, lip oil. I never found it. Like it wasn't there, couldn't find it, made me sad, but that's what happens. The other thing is the majority of these things, I would say like 90% of these things were on my way to the cash register. The only two things that I was actually holding officially were these. Well, and you know, the two Karomi things I showed you. These were the two things I was holding. Everything else was on my way to the cash register. So when they say that they design these stores with purpose, it's true, it works. I fall for it every time. You're gonna need to buy this. Just gonna say that. Do you remember last two vlogs ago when I was telling you about my uh, Sephora birthday reward or birthday gift? It was like this diamond lip gloss. Not a dupe, but a great alternative. This is a lip oil. The thing that I showed you, I think it's the Patrick Ta, right? Was it Patrick Ta? Patrick Ta. So the one that I showed you, this is a lip gloss from Patrick Ta, and this is a lip oil. So if you are not a fan of gloss, but you want the same subtle sparkle or glow, almost like a, it's a really hard way to describe it because it's obviously shiny like a gloss, but there's a dimension to it. So this is from the brand Undone and it's a newer brand to Ulta. They had it online for a while, but now some stores have it in, in store. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. And of course I grabbed this one. It's the same brand, the same type of product, but this is the watercolor rose because I am almost sure, and I can't prove it right now because it's in my purse, but I am almost sure that this one is an exact dupe to the Say lip oil that I showed you guys two weekends ago. I am almost certain that this is an exact dupe. The only difference is this one's 10 bucks at Ulta, you get the points, and the other one is only at Sephora. They're both clean beauty brands, but the other one has a thicker price tag and it's a little, do you guys remember when I was putting it on, I'm like, it smells like old lipstick or tastes like old lipstick, like that plastic almost synthetic. I hate to say rancid, but that's like the best way I can describe it. It's almost like an expired plastic smell to it. These smell and taste really good. <laughs> like what? I don't know. I can't identify it, but I want to wait till I have the other one in my hand, even though it's in the car right now, so that I can do a side by side because I'm almost sure that this is going to be like the perfect fit for that Korean beauty trend that I was telling you guys about. So we got those and this. I have been on a crazy mascara kick, drugstore mascara. It was, it's been a long time that I decided I'm not doing any more like high-end mascaras. If I have any, it's because it's in my backup drawer and I have to use them. But the drugstore mascaras, they've always had my heart. And there really isn't an, an, a necessity to spend that much on a product that has like the highest turnover rate, you know? It takes you a year, two years, three years, seven years, they expire for you to get through a lipstick. It takes you, you've probably never finished an eyeshadow palette, maybe a couple of pans, but mascaras, if you do your makeup regularly, I mean, you could go through one maybe once a month or every two months. If you don't do your makeup regularly, like, uh, I don't know, once a month, you still go through it pretty fast. And even though, and even if you don't do your makeup that often, they tell you when they're expired or you can tell right away if they expire. Like it's a lot easy. It's a lot easier to figure out when a mascara is expired. So anyway, to spend that much on a mascara. What I will tell you though is I remember mascaras being like five to eight bucks, like drugstore mascaras. They're like 12 to $15 now. Holy, you know what I mean? So this is the Panorama, Voluminous Panorama from L'Oreal. The packaging got me. It looks very hourglass. It looks super luxe, but the silicone wand is, is obviously what gets me every time. I love silicone wands and I am a fan of wetter mascaras. I'm not a big fan of dry mascaras. I feel like they aren't the easiest to use for me because although I have long lashes, I have sparse lashes, so I need to separate and build slowly. I can't go in straight ham sandwich because I'll have stumpy tarantula legs, as opposed to when I use a wetter mascara with a silicone wand, there's a lot of separation. I can take my time and build it slowly. So usually the most success that I've had is starting with a lengthening or 
a, a separating or lengthening mascara that's wetter with a silicone wand first as my base layer. And then I can go in with whatever mascara I want. It could be the bristle, like the natural bristles. It could be a moussey. It could be a drier mascara. And then that on top of the first layer gives me the best impact when I want to achieve the really dramatic mascara look. This one looks extremely promising as, and this is just a blind assumption. From the color of the mascara, from the viscosity and the type of wand that it has, it looks incredibly promising for the types of results that I like from my mascaras. So I'm excited to use that. I think we may head out tomorrow, so maybe it'll be a good time to use it. But in the meantime, I told you guys last week that I tried these two Bambi mascaras. These are also, I think, L'Oreal. Yeah, these are both L'Oreal. There's a silver Bambi and a black Bambi. The silver one, wow. It's like, this one's good. This one's like demolishes it. This one gives you the volume, the length, the whatever. It's easy to use. But then when you go in with the silver one, God, am I, I hope I'm getting the order right. Yeah, the silver one's the second one that I used. That one's just knocks it out of the water. So I preferred that one. Okay, I tried this guy. This is something else that I bought today at Ulta. And I was walking towards the cash wrap and I read the branding for the this L'Oreal lip product and it's not on here anywhere. I wish it was so I could read it to you, but the branding said something like balmy gloss, bal balmy gloss or gloss balm. So I know you're not supposed to say the L in balm, like lip balm. <laughs> I'm trying to make an emphasis so you know what I'm saying clearly. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that's exactly like the Rare Beauty lip gloss balm. Balm. <laughs> Which is an amazing product. If you guys haven't tried it, I think I have it here somewhere. All right, I found it. It only took me like 12 hours. So Rare Beauty has a product that's called, I don't know, it just says balm on here, but that's not the official name of it. They look like this. So they're like flat on one side and then they're round so that they don't roll. Isn't that cool? And then L'Oreal has the, I'm pretty sure L'Oreal owns Rare Beauty. I could be wrong though, because L'Oreal isn't cruelty free and Rare Beauty is but it could be one of those things where like the parent company isn't, but the baby company is, I don't know. Anyway, the branding said it was something like a gloss that feels like a balm or a balm that feels like a gloss. And it got me because I thought, hey, it might be a dupe for the Rare Beauty. It might even be the same formula, just in different packaging. As I was walking to my car, obviously I don't even wait to walk to my car before I'm trying to check stuff out. Look at the wand. Isn't that interesting? It's like a little pocket, like two little pockets. So as I was walking to my car, it was like full on open. It wasn't even twist shut. So I run back to the store. I'm like, I just bought this. Can I get it? She's like, yeah, swap it out. I'm like, okay, cool. That's the L'Oreal one right there. It looks like a, like a glossy balm. This one here is the Rare Beauty. I'm not trying to compare colors, although probably the colors are very similar. But, I mean, the textures feel the same. I'm going to have to look into that and update you guys on whether or not Rare Beauty is owned by L'Oreal because L'Oreal owns almost everything. <laughs> they look and feel very the same and they both have balm in the name. Balm in the name. So there's that. This guy here, gosh, I'm stoked about this one. Do you guys remember I was telling you about the Maybelline color tattoos? And I'm like, oh, I'm so happy that they came back. And then like 90% of you guys were like, they never left. And I was like, okay, you know what I'm talking about. The Maybelline color tattoos used to come in glass pots. Those still exist, Danny. Okay, I know those still exist, but they were a novelty item. They were an item that launched every couple of weeks for the limited edition collection. I would be waiting in line at CVS before they opened to make sure I got it. Now you can only find like the rose gold and then the one that looks like a Mac paint pot, you know, soft ochre or whatever. There's only like a couple neutral shades, but the actual pots of these and the like the 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 craze the craze and the hype around it, there that doesn't exist anymore. But if there is anything in this world that is the color chartreuse, I need it in my life. Now, usually with color tattoos, you use them like a base and then kind of like buff them out. Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Hold please. All right, just a little finesse, just a little. 
Mm, there we go. Fixed it. Okay. So with paint pots, eyeshadow base. It's like a crayon, like a thick jumbo. It's like a jumbo crayon from NYX. It's a base. But if you get a shimmery one or like a metallic finish, those are your best friend because you could just buff them out with a synthetic brush, like if it was an eyeshadow before it sets, and then you're ready to go. This is matte, so there's two versions. There's like the shimmery ones, and then there are the matte ones. With the matte ones, you could use them as a really fun pop of color eyeliner or a lower lash line shade. They come with the sharpener at the bottom, in case you guys were unfamiliar, the bottom pops out and you can actually sharpen them because a lot of times you, these go kind of stumpy and they don't stay sharp like they are when you first buy them. But if you sharpen them, then you can use them and do like a really pretty wing and look at how pretty that color is. Isn't that stunning? They also have a really beautiful turquoise and a really beautiful hot pink shade. The turquoise looks kind of like this. That's an inside joke. If you didn't see the last vlog, you don't get the joke, but hopefully you do get the joke. Then the Real Techniques and the Eco Tools were buy one, get one, I wanna say free or 50% off. And so I saw these little guys. And you guys know I love my cheeky beauty blenders for cream blush and cream highlight. I use a regular beauty blender or the pawpaw sponges from Amazon for my concealer or foundation or my sunscreen, whatever I'm using that day. And then I use the cheeky size for the cream blush and the cream highlight. And I use the same one. So I thought these would be hopefully a drugstore alternative to that step. So the Real Techniques Mini Miracle Complexion Sponge 4-Pack. Colors are really cute. But I thought these might be a really great size, obviously, once you wet them. So, I mean, pretty spot on, right? So once you wet it, it'll be the, a really great size for, like, your cream products or, like, even your highlight or, you know, I don't know, buffing out your concealer. I mean, they're, like, the same size. That's pretty cool. I didn't think it was, like, oh, that spot on. And then these are concealer sponges, like, specifically for concealer like maximum coverage concealer and I was like today might be a good day to test it out because I'm looking like a panda and a raccoon had a baby you know what I'm saying wow you guys have all said you like this new camera but I'm starting to feel a little personally victimized if I'm honest <laughs> has a little place to put your finger I guess that is helpful but look at the texture of this sponge how incredible is that? It's almost like it feels like a silicone spatula, but it's actually a sponge that feels velvety. So this dipped in a tiny bit of like a cleaner or natural talc-free powder to set your under eyes and cover the fact that you are a mama raccoon. I think this has the potential of changing my life. I just want to say that. Sometimes I get energy from things that I buy. I know that's gonna make me sound very, do, 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 you know, a, a little bit. It's gonna make me sound a little kitschy, but sometimes I get energy from products that I buy and I'm like, this has the potential, turn this into a meme, this has the potential of, I feel like it has the potential of changing my makeup life. Look at, I mean, it's even like the size of my face. I feel like every time I tell you look, it gets darker and darker. It almost looks like a bruise. I might have to cut this haul short. Oh, and it comes with three. So I thought that was pretty cool. I might have to cut this vlog short because every time I say look, it gets like now it's, is it? Wow, look, it looks like a bruise. Is that a bruise? No, it's, it's just my face. All right, we're almost done. Look, I was very affected by the fact that Ulta told me that they had the lip oils in stock and that it wasn't true. I was very affected and I was affected enough to the point where I went to several stores and they all told me the same thing. So it like triply affected me. <laughs> and these said that they have the power to change my mood. <laughs> so I went and I stacked the deck, you guys. So these are not a new 
product, but these are a limited edition collection within the product type, which is gonna make me, I don't know if I wanna put it on my lips right now because I'm gonna have to say look it as a close up and then my, my bruise is gonna be black. It was purple, now it's gonna be black. So these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, but they have a limited edition collection that has these cute little happy faces on them and they are scientifically proven shades to improve your mood. And I was like, can I buy a uh, contractor size five gallon bucket? No, <laughs> I didn't ask, I just thought about it because the girl was already very annoyed with me when I was asking her why the website lies. Anyway, I got two shades. The swatches they have on their advertisement, you're like, I want all of them. However, there were only two that I knew for a fact that will make my teeth look like I paid for really expensive veneers without looking like a horse. Ready for this? Oh, okay, don't look at my, don't, just don't look at the raccoon. Don't look at the raccoon. Ooh, they smell good. Wow, is your mood scientifically altered yet? No, okay, let me keep going. How does your mood feel now? Has it been altered? Look at my teeth, did you see? I told you. I told you guys, if you know how to pick shades to make your teeth look white, you don't scientifically improve your mood, but you do change your dental color, mood, appearance, life. You know what I'm trying to say. It's a really good thing to know. So there were two colors that I saw, and the minute I saw them, I was like, when I put those on, they're gonna make my teeth look white and I'm gonna be able to fake it till I make it. So the orange one is called Pleasure Seeker. That is on brand, that is totally on brand. And then this is like a magenta fuchsia. It's called Reviver. I'm not gonna tell you how I instinctually wanted to read it. Reviver, but it's in English, so. <sighs> I didn't rip the sticker. Ugh, I bought another one that was opened. Why do I do that? Why did they open makeup? Why do people open makeup? I might, I've never been in a beauty store and had this gut instinct where I'm like, I really wish I could rip this package open. If I want something so bad or I'm super curious, I look for a tester or I think like Oprah. Would this make me happy? Would this change my life? Then I just buy it. Or you know what else you could do? You could take your phone out, which all of us have, and Google, hey, a swatch of Reviver, okay, Reviver from Maybelline, and then look up a swatch without having to open it. Now there's this girl here in Dallas putting something on her mouth, and it, she doesn't know if it touched someone else's lips, but it's fine, here's the color. <laughs> Thank you for letting me have my soapbox moment. My little rant moment. Oh my gosh, I just posted something on Instagram today that made me cackle laugh, like, to the infinite degree because I was like, we all need a friend like that. Am I that friend? I don't know. I do have a few friends that are those friends that say I'm the multi-purpose friend. I'm down for brunch, church, aggravated assault, <laughs> working out, whatever. Just let me know. Look at it. Boom, right there. That's what I'm talking about. Not so much the working out part. Definitely church, definitely brunch. Prefer breakfast, but brunch will do. Nothing after eight o'clock. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And there's this, and there's this. Wow, that's, don't they have that procedure you can do where they do something here and then they like help you hide the fact that you were birthed by a panda? No? or a raccoon, but maybe I am a raccoon. Have you guys seen that meme that says, I'm a raccoon, I have dark under eyes, I like to eat garbage, I have rabies or something like, <laughs> I get viciously, viciously angry and like rip your face off. I don't know, I'm obviously butchering the meme, but it also said that they're chubby and chubby, sh short and chubby and I'm like, oh. There's, there could be an exception to the rule, I'm thinking, but all right. Let's say, Danny, of your haul, what do you recommend to your pandas? What do you think is a must have? I feel really hopeful about these, but I haven't tried them, so I can't really say, but they are on sale right now, so. The texture of these, super nice. 
didn't change my life. I'm not gonna return it, I'm gonna use it, but it's not life-changing. You guys already know how I feel about the Maybelline color tattoos. You need every color. Won't know until I try it. Use this on my way home from Ulta, when I got home from Ulta, while I was doing this vlog with you guys. I really like this. So Undone Beauty, their lip oils, so good, love them. And then if you have a Chromey fan in your life, Apparently, Ulta has Karomi stuff, which I thought was super cute. They also had this, but in Karopi, which I love Karopi. Pachago's my favorite, but Karopi's my number two. But I just don't like sticking my finger in things when I don't need to. And then these guys. I wish the camera could show how orange it actually is. It is a burnt orange, but it looks orange, like, way more orange than it looks on camera. On camera, it's pulling red, almost like a red orange. Like if you pulled out your Crayola box of 64 crayons and you pull out red orange, that's not what it looks like. It's a lot more orange. I wonder if it's the lighting. I really have to stop getting so close to you guys with this new camera. Are you disappointed in me? Did you not realize that my raccoon eyes were really this bad? <laughs> Pulling out a makeup wipe so that I don't ruin my life by getting this bright fuchsia color on everything. That's the update. I was actually really hoping to go to Build-A-Bear today. Yeah, I'm still on that. Your girl is still talking about Build-A-Bear. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys. If you have a Daiso nearby and you have a Sanrio fan in your life, I love the new generation is getting turned on to Sanrio, you guys. Quite frankly, I'm still waiting for Sanrio to launch a new character. Like, who's the new icon gonna be? Cause it's been a minute, you know? I don't like the Gudetama guy or whatever. Like an egg, that's so weird. Like we need to bring back maybe Spotty Dottie or I don't know, promote Peckle a little bit more or make a new character, but just not an egg or a fish. Like the fish is weird. So anyway, if you guys have a Daiso nearby, they have lots of little Karomi things right now for the Karomi fan in your life. This is a bag, it's like a little zip pouch. So just slowly, patiently gathering little things for uh, bonus baby's birthday. But uh, that's the update. So hopefully maybe tomorrow, you know, I've been really craving, and this is gonna sound crazy because it does not relate, but I've been really craving wiener schnitzel and there really aren't that many in Dallas. At least to me, the closest one is like 40 miles away. Not worth it. And sushi. And sushi, I like to say for a special occasion, but I don't know, maybe we'll get into something tomorrow. The boys actually are with their dad tomorrow, which is rare. We usually have them on Sundays, but they're doing something fun with their dad. So yeah, I don't know what we'll get into tomorrow, but that's the uh, haul for today. And I'm extremely, extremely disappointed that I felt very misled by Ulta. So if you guys share in my sentiment, please let me know, because I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, whiny right now. Have you have you ever gone to Ulta because they said they had an item and then they don't and they said that it's because the website lies? No? Anyone else? Hey, Sophia, come here. Mama! We're going to put it to the test. We're going to see if Sophia's mood gets improved because of my lip color. It's science, right? It's science and we already know she has an attitude problem. Come here. Come here. Ready? Look at my lips. Look at my lips. Anything? No? Are you happier? Are you happier? Do my lips make you happy? Anything? No? No. Crickets? Do you feel better? Are my lips improving your mood? So, does any does anyone else have a dog like this one? No? Excuse you. I guess the Sophia show, you're just living in it? No? Center of attention? Do you feel better though? Like, are you happier? Are my lips making you ha have a happy mood? Is there a million other places you'd rather be than in my arms right now? Got it. You guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. So I was sitting here doing some busy work thinking, okay, what do I have to do today? What's on my list of things to do? Once I ship off the kids to school, 
I like hunker down. I'm like, okay, Sophia needs food. So I placed an order for her. I ran out of oil when I was cooking yesterday. So I have to pick some of that up. Parker just texts me and he's like, hey, I need you to fill out this paperwork. So I'm sitting here and when I plan my day is when I do like other little busy work or little task things. And so I wanted to show you guys what I'm getting myself into. And I'm saying that because it just, it's so me to just take on just another undertaking as I simultaneously complain about not having enough time or energy or hours in the day to do everything that I need to do. I didn't tell you what time it was. It's about nine o'clock. So what I'm doing right now is what I have been showing you guys. Well, it kind of happened on accident. So let me see. My phone case is over here. And I usually change my phone's outfit a few times, no, every, <laughs> haven't made my bed. I change my phone's outfit maybe once a month and you guys have been asking about this little guy here. And I told you that is one of my 1000 hobbies that I do to just relax, disconnect, what's the word, disassociate. <laughs> And a few of you have left me a comment and said, hey, um, you need to do that because I want one. So it's a lanyard and then it has a detachable little dangle. I call it a dangle. I don't know if that's a professional word. So if you don't like it noisy or you want to put it on something else, you can just take it off. And then I also told you guys that I have been DIYing my own pop sockets because I had some pop sockets that I didn't really like and I wanted to still be able to use them. And pop sockets are pretty expensive. I think like a plain or a basic one is about $12 and then one with a cute design is anywhere from 15 to like 25. So I had two that, here's another one. And a few of you commented like, oh, where'd you get that? Oh, how do I get one? I want one. So what I did this weekend, obviously nothing with this, was just kind of craft and I'm actually photographing the things right now which all of this photography stuff is finally coming in handy like 10 years later. I'll show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. Let me prop you guys up. Okay so I have this little photo box that I've had for a minute. Ooh, close the lid and I just kind of set it up and what I did this weekend was a bunch of these little guys here and let me put them in the right lighting so that you guys can see. So we went ahead and crafted a whole bunch of cell lanyards and little dangles. So let me show you, like we have an orange one here. Actually, that might be more confusing, right? So I did an orange one. How cute is that? So these are all clay slices. The gold beads are 14 karat plated beads. So the gold ones are actually plated. They're not just plastic beads. So you have the clay slices and the plated beads and these little clay slices here. Here's an example of a silver one. So this is silver and yellow. Again, clay slices. These are silver beads, but these are just painted plastic beads. So with beads like that, they will tarnish eventually. Not sure if quickly or not. I guess it depends on what you have on your hands. Lotion, if you wet your lanyard, you know, if you're rough with your keys. I don't know why I said keys. These are for your cell phone, but you know what I'm saying. This is another silver one and it's just like multicolored clay beads and just, you know, just a bunch of colorful ones. So I tried to do almost one of each color. This is the hot pink one and it already has the little dangle thing attached to it. So I'll keep that on the side so that I can show you what I'm talking about. Here's like a turquoise one. This is one of my favorites. I was like, well, I could hang on to this one or I could just make another one. This is another one of my favorites. This one just has the gold beads and then like the pastel colors of the slices. And each of the lanyards is a different color. So they all kind of match the color theme. And then let me show you these guys. These are my favorites. They're so cute because you're not committed to like leaving them on your cell phone. You know, you could put them on other stuff. So we have this little bunch. So they all have four little things hanging from them. I tried to do them pretty much the same so it's not super overwhelming. I know with me when I'm given the option uh, to pick something but there's too many choices, I do get a little flooded. So I tried to make them pretty uniform case you know you and your bestie want to match but not really. You know what I mean? Like match but not really match. 
Come on, gummy bear. There's that one. Let's flip this one over here. Okay, how cute are these? So look, we have fearless and a little yellow gummy bear. Here we have like an infinity symbol with a heart. It's as beautiful. We have a little wing. It says brave, enough. That's one of my favorites. I think that's the one that my cell phone says that. Maybe, let me double check. And then we have hope and a pink heart. Another gummy bear here with a dream. This is for the turquoise one. It says inspire. And I'll show you guys a close-up of mine. This is the one that you guys have been seeing in the vlog. And I wanted to share it because you can actually see the wear and tear. So like how it's going to fade. It really doesn't fade super quickly. So you can see these are the 14 karat gold uh, plated beads. They haven't faded at all. Mine has an exposed knot. You can see that. On the ones that I made, I tried to put these little clasps on them. I don't know if you could see that little clasp. That hides the knot, but I'm not sure if I like that or I like the knot, because the knot doesn't really bother me. I don't think it looks bad. And then here's the little, the dangle that I have on mine. And mine, instead of having like a happy face or a heart, actually has a Sagittarius symbol. And so I do have all of these from making bracelets and stuff. I have all the zodiac signs. But if I wanted to pre-make them, I'm like, I can't guess what the zodiac signs are. So maybe I could do like some kind of feature on the Etsy listing where I put, you know, if you drop me a memo with your zodiac sign, I could add it to the dangle, like just part of it. I can just add it or I can remove, for example, on this one, I would take away the sneaker and add the zodiac so that they're, it's not super big and heavy. But I really like this option and I just kind of came up with it. Usually I get inspiration from places, but this one, I remember having a Nokia phone like back in the day and it had these two little pockets or holes on the sides. You know, on the AirPods, how they have that little hole on the side. So you used to be able to buy these tiny little, just little pieces of string that had like a tiny Winnie the Pooh hanging from it or an initial and you could still find them. Oh, you know what? They look like this. Let me show you. So they look like this and you used to thread it through the side of like your old school Nokia phone and just have that little tiny thing hanging from it. And I was like, okay, well now lanyards are more popular or useful because some people like to wear them as bracelets or they like to hold on to their phone, like it gives them another thing to hold on to. I know most people aren't like me where they do pop socket and lanyard. I do because I drop everything. So I also like the way it looks. I, I have, you guys remember the statement necklaces. So I'm an accessories junkie, the bigger the better, the shinier the better, the brighter the better. But a lot of people don't like that. So it's almost like a two in one. You could clip it onto something else. You can clip it on your bag. You can clip it to your wallet. If you have a wristlet, you can put it on your cell phone, but let me show you how easy it is to kind of take it apart. So that's the lanyard. This is the part that you thread through the cell phone case. So depending on your cell phone case, you're gonna have an area where you can put it down here or you're gonna have an area up here on the side where you can thread it as well. So just like that. But if you wanted to remove this and not have it on your lanyard, it's so easy because you could see it has a, a lobster hook. So all you do is just unhook it and you have the two things. Or you could just put it on a different part. So I like to put it on the top closest to the cell phone as opposed to the bottom, because then it'll make it even longer. But you could really just put it wherever you want, as long as you have space to open it, uh, open and open the, like the paracord where the cord is, and then hook it in there. So I like to put it on top, but let me see. If you were a person that wanted to put it on the bottom, you see how cute that looks? So anyway, I was about to finish the vlog and I'm like, oh, I'm going to show my pandas what I'm doing. So I'm just taking pictures and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. It is really hard, you guys. If you're in product photography, kudos to you because I don't know how you do it. It's incredibly difficult to get like the right 
lighting and for it to be true to color and you can actually see the details on things because everything this is one of my favorite pictures hopefully let me see um there we go that's a little better so that's one of my favorites for me it's super important that the color is true to tone you know what i mean so i've been sitting here trying to figure out the exact way that i want to. Oh, this is a resort that we might go to this summer with the kids. <laughs> Anyone screenshot everything and then like never go back to their screenshots and then go back to their screenshot folder and erase a bunch of screenshots? No, just me. So anyway, the long and the short is after Saturday, Sunday morning, I woke up and I was like, I am so tired of every time that I'm trying to craft, I have to take everything out it looks like a hurricane, obviously. Exhibit A, the drawer, the no bed, like I need to show you what this room looks like. I take everything out and then put everything away. So then I do my crafting, then I have to put everything away. And stuff like this takes time. Like I can't sit through and from start to finish do it without investing like 12 hours. Like I'm not gonna have two meals sitting here. So I told Parker, I'm like, you know what? Like this is, this is what it is. And this is what I said I was going to do this year. I wasn't going to look on the bright side or find the silver lining in the deck that I was like in the hand that I was dealt. Like my 2024 mentality is this is my deck and it is great perspective. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like I was telling you last week with, with uh, my vitamins. Oh my God, you're such a loser. You always forget. It's like, you know what? I'm so proud of you for remembering. Here, make a, make a fancy drink and put on your faux fur coat. And that's kind of what I did here. I was like, I'm, I'm so uh, hard on myself where I'm like, I've taken everything out and they put everything away and I'd just rather not do it because I'm going to rush it. I'm not going to do a good job because when I rush, I'm sloppy and I do a <laughs> job. And I was like, you know what? This is my space my space. This is my space. And if I need it to be cluttered so that I can get my crafting done, that makes me happy that you guys seem to enjoy, then that's what I'm going to do. So I just busted out a picnic table. Let me show you. So I busted out a picnic table and this is where I'm crafting now. Over there is where I edit, which you guys see at the end of the vlog every time I'm like, oh, I forgot to do the outro is where I do it there. And then that's where I film this in this direction. So you know, like in that direction. And I mean, this is my space and this is what my space is gonna look like for now. And that's totally okay because the minute I put out this table, I made 10 lanyards. Like the minute I pulled out the table, I made 10 lanyards. You know what else I was able to do is like get all this extra motivation. <laughs> I haven't done my bed, putting myself on blast. The other thing I was able to do was some bracelets that I had in my mind. Like I had designed them in my head but they just hadn't come together. So let me show you. I have them on this little velvet rod. And so my, my son was teasing me. He's like, oh my God, are you a Swifty? I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, because if Swifties wear those bright, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. So here is uh, some, so I had imagined these bracelets in my head and it was nice to be able to sit down and actually do them. So I have one here with the boys and Parker's initials. And these are the same kind of beads that are on the lanyards, which are the uh, 14 karat gold plated. Um, here is one with our anniversary. So let me show you, here we go. So it's like a little heart and it has bigger beads than the ones on this one. So you see, I wanted to do a stack, but sort of like a messy stack. And then this one says hope, and I divided the beads by color as opposed to just shuffling them all together, like this one. So this one has all the beads mixed together and it says enough. Y'all know how I feel about that word. And then the little clay beads. And so I just kind of, when you have the desire to do something and silly stuff holds you back. It's really important to like identify what that silly stuff is to you and then to do something about it, you know, because no one's going to read your mind or do something for you about it. This one says, well, you can read it <laughs> in case you're watching with littles. And then this one, 
I'm gonna redo this one because the orange is a little bit too bright. So the orange was in this kit of beads, so it's part of the kit, but it almost looks like it doesn't match the color scheme. It's a little too bright. And this has the really big beads. So I just did like a pastel stack with like important words, sayings, motivations, or whatever. And i um, really happy about that. So I'm not sure. You guys will have to tell me how you feel about the bracelets. You know, with like cell phones, everybody has a cell phone. The cute, charmy stuff, like that's exciting. And it's not so... It is personal, but it's not super niche like jewelry. With jewelry, it's a little bit different. But if you guys like those, you'll have to drop me a comment and let me know so that I can just make a bunch. The thing with those is, is that they're very... For me, the reason that they're so special is because they have the boys' names, a word that means something, an anniversary or a date. So ideally, I'd like to be able to do them, like, customized to whatever somebody wants or likes. Like for Isabelle's bridal shower, I did it on their zodiac sign and then, like, a cute word on one of them. So to be personalized... Is, is ideal to me because that just makes it that much more special. So anyway, I've just spent the morning taking pictures of that. I, I'm not sure if I showed you, I wonder if I showed you. So I think I may have in like another vlog, I can say good morning to our girl, but I made each of the dogs a, like a little, it's for your, collar or your harness here better lighting so that was ernie's super cute i put their phone number on the back so i can't show you the back and then the doubles i always like i made it he had already passed away so the size didn't really matter but i just wanted to make sure that he had his so there's doubles so cute right as little pandas look at do the panda slices um and then let me show you. This is Bumpy's. I always imagine Bumpy being my little patriot. <laughs> I don't know why, just part of his personality. So that was Wesley's. And then Sophia's, I actually put it on her harness because I've been taking her on walks during the day and she's just, I'm telling you guys, she's thriving. Actually, it's in her, it's been raining. So when it rains, I don't make her walk. Wow, my hair is like, the longer I talk, the better and better it gets, you guys. What? So this is Sophia's. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I showed it to you guys on there. All right, there we go. You see Fia's? So cute. It's purple. I also made... Wow. Hold on. You know what? You don't have to notice that my hair is like super dirty. Oh, there we go. Hey, girl. Look at that. <laughs> Looks like I'm trying. I made some for Sully and Lilo, co-parents Frenchies. You guys have to say a prayer for one of our Frenchies. Our Frenchies, yes. Uh, we're that weird modern family. Sully is sick. They think he has pneumonia. And you know, with dogs that have the flat face, that is like a really bad thing. So prayers for Sully. Look at Lilo's. This is for my Miss Lilo. How cute is that? I'm gonna give you like an ultra close up because there is a lot of little, I don't know what, you guys. Can you see that? There's little little um, flowers and like, and like a little rabbit and stuff in there. And then for Sullivan, I call him my boyfriend and I call him Salvador. I'm like, Salvador! And he's like, where's my boyfriend? And he comes over, he's so, oh my God, he's the best. Look at, his name is Sully though, but you guys know, if you're a part of my life or you're in my circle, you're gonna get like four nicknames. Look at that, right? How cute is that? Anyway, so that's what I have been getting myself into this morning. So I've been taking pictures of the cell lanyards, but you guys have to let me know. The dog tags, the bracelets, and the pop sockets. If that is something that you have enjoyed seeing on my phone or that I've showed you, let me know in the comments and then that'll be something else that I work on. So you guys know that with a job like YouTube, it is incredibly unpredictable. You have to have at least five types of revenue. A lot of passive 
income is important. And that's kind of like with the links, like, oh, you like my sweater, I'll link it. Oh, you like my earrings, I'll link it. And that's passive because you really don't see your earnings for like three months at the soonest. And then you have brand deals like you've seen with Mary Ruth or Wild Grain. Before we moved here, I was doing Poshmark as well, which you guys, my closet right now. If you see me wearing the same clothes like over and over is because my closet is stressing me out. And I told you guys, I think it was last spring that I tried to do that wardrobe. I don't remember what it's called, but it kind of tells you what you need to own and how many outfits you can make with it. And sitting down and looking at it, I just got flooded and I had to walk away. I'm ready to go back there. So what I was thinking about doing is filming the process. So going into my closet and saying, and look, this is how you know that what I'm saying is true and you're being invited into the way that my brain works. I brought this downstairs from our media room slash guest room slash gym slash catch all room. Because what I wanna do is go into my closet, take out all my coats, put them on this rack, try them all on. Because when I don't try stuff on, I hang on to it emotionally. And so I have to try everything on. The stuff that I don't want, I wanna photograph, and then I can put it on my Poshmark. But by doing it that way, I do it all at the same time, as opposed to I go in my closet, I declutter, I make a pile, I look at the pile, I walk past the pile, I stare at the pile, and then I'm like, well, I'm just gonna donate it instead of put it on Poshmark. But you know, I have a lot of good stuff. A lot of stuff that I would much rather donate, but there's a lot of stuff that I wore maybe once or twice, you know, that I'm like, I really would love to give it a second life. So if I do it this way, step by step, as opposed to trying to swallow an elephant like a boa constrictor, if I do it bite by bite, I'll go into my closet, I'll take out all the coats, I'll put them on a rack. I'll put them all on. The ones that I like, in that moment, I put them back on the hanger, I put it back on the rack. When I put one on that doesn't fit anymore, or maybe isn't my style, or I never wore and it still has tags, I will take a picture with my phone instead of my vlog camera, because I'm vlogging this whole time, like you're imagining this with me, right? Take a picture with my phone, I have it ready to go, I put that back on the hanger, but I could put it somewhere else. That way I'm like, okay, now I can create this posh listing. That doesn't require the same amount of energy because now that I have the pictures on my phone, I could do it while I sit in bed watching TV or while I'm waiting for the kids to get out of school or while Mateo's at baseball practice because everything I need is at my fingertips. You know what I mean? You know, I think oftentimes we find ourselves in this judgmental headspace where you discourage yourself more than you already are. So you're already discouraged or unmotivated about doing something. And then your mindset is additionally discouraging. You're like, God, oh, that's so overwhelming. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed, I might as well not do it. As opposed to saying, okay, well, why am I overwhelmed? I'm overwhelmed in my closet because it's too full. And when I try to put my laundry away, I'd rather leave my laundry on the bed for a week because I'm overwhelmed when I go into my closet. Why am I overwhelmed in my closet? Because I have too much stuff. But why do I have so much stuff? Well, because it's good stuff and I don't wanna just get rid of it. Okay, well, what, what are my options? Okay, well, you haven't poshed in over three years, which you guys remember, I was like always putting stuff on Poshmark. You haven't poshed in three years. Okay, well, what's it gonna take for you to do that? And this is all me having a conversation with myself. What's it gonna take for me to do that? Because, you know, I hate that my mind works this way, but if I tell Parker, this is how I'm feeling, he's like, okay, well, how can I help you? And that aggravates me, not at him, but at me, because I'm like, ugh, I can't take what's in here and put it out here. I just know what I need to do, and it's gonna be harder for me to explain it to you than to just do it myself. Now, if I have an action plan, like what I have now, then he can totally help me with it, and instead of feeling frustrated or annoyed, he feels to me like an asset. So anyway, the whole point of that pontification is A, this is my outro for the vlog. B, let me know about bracelets, lanyards, pop sockets. I'll link my Etsy shop down below. C, the declutter, my closet declutter. I'm gonna have to like piecemeal it, so I'll do coats first and then you know, tops and then bottoms or whatever. And I'll just throw them in the vlog. So for example, 
when I vlog this weekend, I'll do coats and it'll just be kind of fast forward or whatever, but I'll share like, oh, look, these are the things that I'm gonna post on Poshmark. And then you guys will know to look out for that if you follow me on Poshmark. Oh, an F or E or double G or wherever we are. This is, this is in a cup size. Uh, I'm trying to round up the vlog. Be kind to yourself. We all have ways of doing things. We all have special ways that our brains work. We all have special ways that our heart feels. That's who you are. There's no mistake in the way that you are made, in the way that you think, in the way that you behave. Well, maybe some, sometimes when how you behave, but you are perfect the way you are. But you have to get to know yourself just like you get to know other people. And just like you get to know other people and you accept them for who they are, you need to do that with yourself first. And that's something that I'm learning now at almost 40 is I'm getting to know myself and not so much like date yourself. Cause you remember when I got divorced, I was like, oh, I dated myself for a year. Not get to know yourself that way because it's like, okay, well, I like this style and this makes me happy in my favorite restaurant. No, I mean like deep, the messy <laughs> Get to know yourself, what aggravates you, what pushes your buttons, what makes you happy, what makes you feel like you can take over the world, what overwhelms you. And when you get to know yourself on that deep of a level, instead of saying, ugh, I forgot to take my vitamins because I'm an idiot. You say, you know what? I'm so proud of you for remembering because in the past you would have forgotten completely and there would have gone your vitamin regimen. And now that you've reframed your thinking and changed your perspective, I can take my vitamins or I can declutter my closet or I can sit down in my crowded <laughs> studio. That's my space. It's my space. It's mine. It's my, like, that's my little space. I'm so worried about, is it gonna look bad? Is it gonna be cluttered? Like, oh my God, if someone needs to go to the bathroom, they walk right past it. Well, close the <laughs> door. Or you know what? If it bothers you, I promise I won't go to your house and make a mess. You know, so it's all of these little things that like, they don't make sense that we just create in our minds and make it so much harder for us to just enjoy our lives. I'm sorry, you guys, I promise. Like the end of these vlogs is always like, hey, uh, welcome to your session with Danny. How are you feeling this week? <laughs> I hope you're feeling great. And I am so happy to be vlogging for you guys. And like I said, this whole Etsy adventure is just like every other adventure that I've undertaken, like opening my Amazon storefront or doing Poshmark or whatever. Like it's just another one of my little spin-off shows. That's what we'll call it. Coffee Break with Danny. This is another spin-off. I feel like uh, Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD. Like this is another spin-off. And this is called uh, Coffee Break Bobbles, which I think is kind of cute. There is a little panda logo that I made with little lotus paw prints. It's adorable, you guys. A lot of thought went into it. I'm very happy with it and it's colorful, just like our personalities. So anyway, you'll have to let me know about that, but either way, I'll link it down below. Hopefully I'll have those cell lanterns listed by then. And then I'll wait on your feedback on the bracelets. The, pop. the reason I'm repeating is because I'm a teacher and by repeating it, I don't forget. So it's not so much for you as, as it is for me. So thank you for giving me the space to do that. <laughs> anyway, anything and everything that you saw in this vlog, including my friend Alina's med spa, I will make sure to list a link in the description box of this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I think that's it. I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. Little miss, little miss. Where is my little miss? You wanna say bye to your friends? You wanna say bye to your friends? Say bye everybody.